up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com again. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Got a classic for you. Uh, what's fun about this one is it's a, it's a great sing-along. People love this song at a party. You know, everyone starts singing along immediately, and we like those. Those are good. The other thing is it's a great song for practicing your beginner chords. It's three chords the whole time, and they're chords you're going to see in millions of songs. So it's, a, it's, it's great for everybody, really. And, uh, yeah, if you really want to get into guitar, you can try my website, guitarjams.com. Uh, I've got links down here. You can check it out. Plus the social media support. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Okay, so, we're, so we just need three chords for the whole song. I put the capo on the first fret just to match it up to the original recording. If you don't have a capo, you can just play it in the regular spot. It's still going to work. I'm just doing it to match up the recording. So we need a D chord as our first chord. And obviously strum, you know, down here. I'm doing it here just so you see them both at the same time. So we got a D chord. Then we're going to go to a G chord. And this G chord that I like, you know, going from the D would be where the ring finger stays for both chords. So when I go to the G, pinky goes down to that third fret of the high E. Then we need an A7 chord, which would be open, two, open, two, open. I'm playing it with middle finger and ring finger. Okay, so that's what you need. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you a cool rhythm to do, but let's just go through the basic form. There's a verse and there's a chorus, and they're all almost identical with each other, just a little bit different from each other. So here's the verse. It starts with a D chord. And remember, spicy rhythm in a little bit. So we got the verse. D, 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 D. G back to D, D. G back to D, D. So hang on D to A7. So it holds on that D for a little while on that first time around. Here's the second time around. D, 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 D. A G, G back to D, D. A G, G back to D, D. But now right to A7, back to D. So that second time's got a turnaround where it goes right back to A7 to D. So here they are, both of them together. D, 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 D. G back to D. on D to A7, here's the D again, G back to D, D, G back to D, go right to A7 then D. So pretty self-explanatory there. The chorus is almost the same, it starts the same, so here's the chorus, you got to D, D to D, D. Seven, then you go back to the D. G back to D now. Hold on the D chord. A7 to D. So what happens in that last part of that chorus there, instead of going to a G, it just holds on that D over that same amount of time that the G chord would be going. Okay, so here's the chorus again. You got to know when to fold on. G and to fold on. You never count your money. G back to D. Hold on the D chord. A7 D. Okay, so that's it. Um, so then there's a rhythm, and I'm going to show you a little Johnny Cash style rhythm here. And it, it, right hand goes down, down, up, 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 down. Down up. And on that first down, we want to hit a single note. And the cool thing about this is if you hit a wrong note, we're going to aim for this D string. But if you hit one of the other ones by accident, it still sounds good. It's okay. You meant to do it. You meant to do that one. All right. So we have this. Look. 
So down, down, up. And then we're going to alternate. We'll do D, down, up. And then we'll do the A string, down, up. And we're going to, you know, you can just try and do that for the D chord to spice it up. I'm using my pinky a bit to plant down here. That's okay, too. Remember, if you hit a wrong note, that's okay. It all sounds good. Now with the G chord, we want that third fret of the low E, and then a down up. Then we're going to go to the open D string, down so it looks like this. Once again, if you hit one of the other notes by accident, that's okay. See? And then with the A7, we're going to hit the open A, and then the open E. So you put that together and then you get stuff like this. I'll do it slow for you. You can take that whole rhythm and don't worry about the single notes and just play the whole rhythm. song, which makes it not a beginner song anymore, really, is that it moves up a half step. That's called a modulation in music. The easiest way to do it is when everyone's crowded around singing along, and you're just, you know, having a great time partying or whatever you're doing, enjoying each other's company, you could just slide it up a half step and then do it that way and say, eh, modulation! You know, like, you could do that, but if you want to do it the, you know, big boy way or the, you know, big kid way, it would be an E major, forget about the capo now, and I'll just call this its natural chord is an E major, so it's the seventh fret, you know, if the capo didn't exist, it'd be the seventh fret right there, and you'd play the A major bar chord shape, then you'd have the A major bar chord, back to E major. And the turnaround chord would be the B, which is the, that same 7th fret bar chord, but with the E looking shape right there. So then you'd have... So 
that's how you'd modulate it up. If you're just having a rip-roaring time, time with people, you don't really even have to modulate. No one's going to know, but, you know, when you're trying to produce a pop hit, those modulations make it, you know, it goes up a step. You know, it feels like it's going, it, it keeps it keeps building momentum. So that's the, the point of that, you know, for songwriting is that, you know, you're not, you know, kick it up a notch. You know? All right, there it was. Hope you got something from it. Thank you so much. Thanks for trying out uh, my actual website. It supports all this stuff, so thank you for that. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. It helps. It does. So thank you. And uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. See you later.